Let's take a look at some of the SOLIDWORKS 2018 user enhancements that are going to help you save quite a bit of time. So let's take a look at the new home screen in SOLIDWORKS 2018. You can get to all your parts, assemblies, drawings, recent documents, recent folders, and some of your other system resources. We also have your tutorials and your My SOLIDWORKS training just right there. And any alerts for service packs, hot fixes, or anything else, make sure you're up to date. So let's go ahead and open up from our recent documents one of these assemblies, this little cabinet assembly. 416 piece cabinet assembly. And you'll notice that there's a new screen. If some of you guys were like me, you'd look at the bottom left hand corner of the dialog waiting for this thing to open. Now we've got a dialog box that's actually going to tell you when it's opening, how much time it's taking, and really what it's doing. So you make sure that your machine is not locked up. All right, now that we've got the part open, let's take a look at the new enhancements in the performance evaluation. We've always had the existing stuff for number of parts, components, mates, upper level assemblies, but now we have open file details. So we can really find out what files are actually causing the, the slow open times. Also, once the file is open, we can find out what problems we have with triangles, image quality, or anything like that. To make that even a little bit better, we can uh, select on the assembly visualization button, and that's gonna pull up all of these same things in a tool so we can actually quantify them. We can sort by the order of total graphics triangles, uh, open time, or rebuild time. We can move the little slider so you can actually see what components are causing these issues. And so I have a USB outlet that's a little bit higher resolution than what I expect. So I'm gonna just change the configuration over to low detail. I'll go ahead and load that guy in. Looks just fine for our assembly. And we're good to go. Now we've saved a lot of uh, performance issues that we might have had previously. So let's take a look at some other little cool things. Uh, when we're at top level assembly, we always had a little bit of an issue trying to make all the subcomponents transparent. So what we can do now is do that at the top level, just right click, transparency. We've always used folders for quite some time to group components where they're not actually in a sub assembly. But we had problems whether or not we could tell whether the uh, components were suppressed or unsuppressed. The folder just pretty much re say, stayed the same. Now what's happening is we changed the color of the folder so you can actually tell what's in it. Whether the parts are visible, not visible, suppressed or unsuppressed. Let's go ahead and right click, go ahead and customize, and let's take a look at mouse gestures. They've had a complete overhaul on the user interface on this. We can go from two gestures all the way up to 12 gestures. I like eight. And we can also search for any commands. So let's look at the hide one, and we'll just drag and drop it right on the mouse gesture that we want. You can even control drag and drop and customize these things from one gesture to the other. You can also print this guy out. Put it by your computer until you memorize exactly what the mouse gestures are. So let's take a look at one of the issues we had was when you wanted to select some components, you always had to pick out in the middle of nowhere to try and select them. That doesn't work very well. So there's a new option that says select over geometry. Allows you to pick. You can still hold down control to multi-select. And once you select all those, then of course I can use my mouse gestures again to go ahead and hide those components. So SOLIDWORKS 2018 is really giving you some really good tools for the user interface to help you get your job done.